Hey guys, it's Misty. Um, I had an idea and I wanted to see what you guys thought about it. Um, I have been wanting to get those feather hair extensions. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Now, they're not real popular um, in the area that I live in, um, but they are popular in the bigger cities. In fact, I don't even think I've ever seen anybody with them around here where I live because I live in the boonies. Um, but anyway, I did some research and um, I actually first saw it on one of Candy Johnson's videos. She actually took it to the salon and um, had the stylist show you how, that you do, how you do it. Um, so anyway, I started with YouTube and I watched a couple videos and in those videos there were some links where you could find the feather hair extensions. Um, well, I looked at all those sites and they were all sold out and the ones that weren't sold out were an outrageous amount of money. I think, a, I forget what some of the websites were, I'm not going to mention them, but um, I didn't need a big bulk size of feathers. Um, I only needed a couple and there were a couple places that sold them just a small amount but I thought they were too expensive. Um, and you can also get them at fly fishing shops. Now I checked on if you guys are familiar with Cabela's um, but and I think Cabela's did have them on the website. I don't remember. I checked so many websites but you can get them where they have sell fly fishing um, materials. So anyway, um, like I said, I couldn't find any on the website and if I did find them they were super expensive and I wasn't spending $100. Um, so I finally went to um, eBay and I did find them on eBay um, and I think there are some on the Etsy site too. Um, there's a lady on there that has them. But anyway, I got mine off eBay. I ordered them a couple days ago. They're supposed to be here Saturday um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this myself. So I'm going to tell you guys the materials that you need and then um, tell you a little, bit of a little bit about it and then if you guys want to see me um, do like a tutorial, it should be really quick, um, then I'll do that for you guys. So the things you're going to need are, let me make sure I get all this right, I should have wrote it down, a rat tail comb or a comb for sectioning off, a couple clips to keep your hair out of the way, um, a pair of needle nose pliers, <clears throat> which if you already have the pliers for hair extension, the clamps, um, you can use those. Um, but you know, if you have needle nose pliers at home, why spend the money? So you're going to need those. Um, you're going to need um, the cylinders, which are these that actually hold it all together. I got these at Sally's. Um, they're $14.99. They were for $100, which I didn't need $100. I'm not going to put $100 feathers in my hair and look like a big old bird. So I wish they sold them in smaller packs, and they may, but they just didn't have them in smaller packs at Sally's. It's just a cylinder like this. Small. These are the large ones because, you know, you have to fit your hair and then the end of the feathers in there. So I got the large ones. Um, so, yeah, and I got these. And you need um, one last thing. It's... You can get it at Sally's if you want. You're going to spend more money for it. Um, it's like a hook that, you know, that to pull the hair through that little hole instead of trying to feed it through. Um, so you can use, you can buy that. Or um, you can also use the crochet hooks from crochet, crocheting. Um, or you can use, um, what am I thinking of? Oh, if you uh, have an at-home highlight kit and you get the, you know, the, the needle, that you, the hook that you pull your hair through, you can use that as well. Um, so that should be everything that you need. Like I said, I ordered my feathers the other day. They should be here tomorrow. Um, and it looks super, super simple. And why go to the salon and pay somebody to have it done when you can do it yourself? So essentially, I'm just going to run down this quick on what you do. It should, doesn't even look like it's going to take long at all. Um, and oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, the feathers come in all different colors. They do dye them. Um, I got the natural looking ones. I think they were like a caramel color and a black because I didn't want them to stand out in my hair because I wanted to wear them, you know, most of the time. Um, and they say they last a really long time. You can wash them, dry them, flat iron them, curl them, everything that you would do, um, to your hair. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so essentially all you do is section off your hair. You know, if you, if I wanted it to lay underneath here, I would section it off here and then take a piece of hair from up here. So what you do is take a piece of your hair, a thin section of your hair, and then the feathers come, um, I think I got 25 for $14.99. And if you guys are interested in it, want to do it, I'll tell you the site that are, or the buyer that I went to. So it was 25 feathers for $14.99. And essentially they were, I think it said 8 to 12 inches long. Now they're natural feathers from a bird, so you know they're not going to be all perfectly and all the same length. So anyway, depending on the density, I guess, of the feathers, you can use up to one or ever how many feathers plus your hair you can fit into that cylinder. So with that being said, that's why I bought 25 and we'll go from there. I wasn't sure, you know, how many I was going to need. They certainly sold them in huge bulk supplies. And like I said, what am I going to do with 100 feathers? So anyway, um, essentially you put your hair and however many feathers you can fit, I guess, or want into that cylinder, slide it up about a half inch from your scalp or close to your scalp. And then, um, like, did I say this? I don't even know if I said this. You put the, your hair and the feather in there and slide it up to your scalp and 
clamp it down with your needle nose pliers and essentially there you have it there's a little more to it than that but it's nothing major but anyway if you guys would like to see me do a tutorial like i said i'm gonna put one after i get them um which should be tomorrow i'm going to do one myself and then um if you guys want to see a tutorial on it um i definitely want more than one in my hair at least one on each side so i'll do one myself not on camera and then uh, if you guys want to see it just leave me a comment below um and i'll do that for you guys so i just wanted to share that with you guys tell me what you guys think um and i'll see you guys soon bye